So if you haven't seen this before, chances are you weren't playing back a couple years ago when this plagued the ladder for several months on end and it was a scary time for Gwent. Now, not a lot has changed since then. The deck feels pretty power crept compared to some of the new cards we have now, but I felt like bringing it back because it's been about a year since I've played this. The main difference I would add was Triss, and it's nice to be able to get a 34 point V in a short round three to win the game with this here. The deck got a lot of scrutiny because it's very easy to play. All you're doing is consuming the V and bringing it back out and consuming it again and just repeating the process. And if you guys want to take your game to the next level, if you're tired of playing decks like this and you want to play things that are more complex, this leads right into today's sponsor, Brilliant. The best way to learn anything is by doing it yourself. So why not learn interactively with Brilliant's fun, hands-on lessons in math, science, and computer science. Interactive learning can help you learn six times more effectively than watching video lectures. And since Brilliant has tons of great courses for all ability and knowledge levels, you'll definitely find something that interests you. If you're looking to become a better Gwent player, I found two courses that I believe would be a great place to start. These include Introduction to Probability, and logic. And this relates to Gwent because not only is it important to understand the probability of drawing our win conditions and hitting the lottery when RNG is a factor, but it also helps us make better decisions throughout the match that could be a deciding factor. I'm confident that everyone here could benefit from Brilliant's courses, and I look forward to hearing your success stories when it comes to gameplay, work, and even life. To try everything Brilliant has to offer free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash Qcento, and the first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. I'd like to thank Brilliant for sponsoring this video and giving me the opportunity to share this with you guys. So getting back into the deck here, basically what we're going to be doing in a round one is we're going to be opening up with something like Slizzard. If we go first, we have Crystal Skull to protect it so that they can't lock it, and it's out of quick removal range. And then what we're going to be doing is going and looking for some of our tutor cards. Hopefully we have V in hand. We could just take a consume off of the Slizzard. And with the V here, shuffle V back in deck and increase the base power by three. So that's how we're going to be doing this funnel. We're going to keep cycling this over and over again with Oniromancy, Iroquax, Royal Decree, Nagelfar, we have Mata, we have Triss for consistency, Alzer's Double Cross, Whispering Hillock, Arcane Tome, Prince Vellum. You see what I mean? So with all these things in mind, every single time we're bringing back V, it's going to be three points stronger than the previous version. So it starts at seven, goes to 10, goes to 13, 16, 19. You see what I mean? And it just gets crazy. Okay. So that's why this deck was so oppressive back in the day, because there are so many different tutors that are neutral in the game that you can fit into the deck and while maintaining the minimum amount of units. Previous versions that I played had Haunt, which is a scenario that gives us consume engines. The problem is it's actually kind of not the best setup for cards like um, Mata. We want to make sure Mata pulls V every time. We want to make sure that uh, when we take our Vellum late game, we're not pulling Haunt by accident. We can get out Vile early. I don't mind. We can get out where we're at early. We just really want to take Vellum into Tutors or the actual V itself. So a couple reasons why I decided to dump Haunt in this case. We have two Consumes off Bargast. We have one if we float Bargast. We have two off the Barbagazi. We have unlimited pretty much off slizzards and banshees and for what it's worth guys you'll know going into the match depending on how the round one goes it'll sort of dictate the game if we're doing things the way that we're supposed to be doing if we're able to cycle v and they can't answer these consume engines we're in a really favorable spot for the match but if we're unable to do that it's pretty much a go next type situation and that's just the way that it goes for this deck it's not a matter of changing a card or two to make it better at this point it's about the fundamentals of the deck so again not much to say about it but it was really fun just to kind of give it a throwback and see it for myself and uh i don't wish they buff it i think it's fine where it is and sometimes it'll appear out of the darkness and then it will go away again and people will wonder where it went and then it'll come back next year or the year after right that's kind of how it should be this should not be meta and uh, let's get into the gameplay, guys. I got four games with live commentary for reference. If you guys enjoy the content you see, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I will see you tomorrow with another upload. All right, for the first game here, we have Nilfgaard Double Cross. 
Assimilate should be tough. However, at least we don't have to go first, right? I want to have enough consumes to make sure we can get through the round, but it looks like we have almost too many here. Put back. Well, now I got to put back this. It's a bad round one. I can pull off a few. I shall not repeat these mistakes. I think it's better just to run with this lizard. We do our one or two takes and then we just go from there, right? We'll take uh, Arcane Tome in this round as well. They're deciding it's likely a Diplo. For a Kurt. Into a Joust or? No. I guess that's all right. It's probably giving them flashbacks already. <laughs> I kind of want to save Oniromancy and we'll do Tome first because Tome will give them something that is probably bad for us, right? Do we care about a slizzard? Not really. We'll take Tome. Death Wish. I feel like this is the one we play first. They might be reluctant to actually take it. I would be. Just because they know it benefits me so much. But then again, little jab at Nilfgaard players. I'm sure they're going to take it. Do it. Because I can just go all day and take uh, Decree. I don't know if I'm going to be taking Nagelfar, but definitely Decree if they take. The yeah, there we go. Day. See? No one said we had to win round one, we just have to do things, you know? And then we can play... Actually, tempo is quite well. Let's put on a Banshee. Surely they have Vilgaforts in hand and they're just waiting for it. Come to think of it, that would be horrible. If they build out my 40, it's almost like I can't pass. If I take... I think I'm just going to take V this way. It's really tough. I guess, I guess we could just take Nagelfar, honestly. Vilg is the top unit, though. It's not the tallest unit, right? I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to quacks. And then I'll consume Quacks so that they can't use it 
I'll give it spying. I got both set up here. Because Quacks will brick their cards too, right? There, that's not bad. Here, so we'll do it this way. Play around Tall Punish, and then I think we're doing decent. No way. 22 after round one. I feel like that's almost a PR for me. Considering the hand state going into it, I wasn't really impressed. So we can just put back that. We hold this so this works better. Damn, eh? Play a random, we're pretty much guaranteed to get it. Really comes down to, does the Sliz stick? We have to value bleed here, obviously. I don't know if they know how it works. I could see them looking in my grave. The worst thing about this matchup is if they make a consume engine and then they just high roll bribery into a V, then they just start doing it against us. That's like the most annoying thing you can ever have. But I think we're doing decent here. The win on even was super clutch, right? Play a random goal from deck. 50-50? What do you guys think? Yeah? Please? No. <laughs> Do not make me beg. I mean, it's not bad. If they roll it, it's base copy. Oh, you know, we're really lucky we didn't play the pigs in round one, gotta say. 26. Now we can just put back the knowledge. Put back the knowledge, take the V. Consume it again off the leader. First, we'll get the pig down. That's fine. Here. So that they don't play another one. Getting out Vigo and Brathens and Nausicaa, like all these things are just really useful. We milled this out, no problem. So chill in here. You're not gonna get anything good. Probably Onero or Triss. I could see Triss for saving. Oh. At this point, it's gonna be all low provision cards, right? That's cool. That's that's really good. We keep going here, guys. Put back and draw. And consume. They still can't pass. I think we could save leader charges because uh, we're not winning in two rounds. Yeah. 
Watch. I'm telling you they're going to roll it. I'm telling you. No. That's my top provision card. A pig? Oh, oh it's a... Uh, yeah, yeah, Barbagazi. That's got to feel bad, dude. Listen, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, but I think this looks like a really good pass. We get card advantage at a minimum. Just because I play around Tall Punish that way. They have to still play their Truffle. Oh, yeah, yeah okay, never mind. <laughs> I flipped out. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. I guess I could always take the Arcaspore thin now. I'm feeling kind of good about that. Yeah, we just do V-Last say. We just don't take any mulligans here. We'll do one, one, two, so we get the extra point. They're on some crazy hyper thin here. Look at that. I'll probably just end up using my leader charges at the last turn just to consume the V twice to make it like obnoxious, but. I don't even think I want to consume... Okay, for what it's worth, it could be Tall Punish, and it's better just to do this. Seven instead of nine. I think last say is definitely the Vilg, right? The Vilg or the Yen. We'll put this down first, so that I can slam the V second to last, and we just make up as many points as we need. Yeah, see? An interesting little set of your chain abandoned now, your mortal stain. Six, this, this, we're chilling. of it comes down to what we can actually pull in round one so the hand looks really good i would like to have access to quacks please i think i have enough consumed stuff here again keep it simple we don't play quacks in round one probably unless they calvied which actually it doesn't really matter so we'll pull it regardless, but I want to make sure that we get what we need. Don't want them to draw it in round two first, right? That's so nice. Fifteen. Nineteen.
they can't lock it. Maybe they don't see the uh, the veil, or maybe they want to purify it first. Oh, okay. Or they just want to stick to their faction, I guess. Fine. Death wish. Let's make it into thirteen. Right. We have twenty nine points on the uh, the range row. So naturally, we want to go and play the pig. Get him online as soon as possible. You will not regret this, sir. A That's uh, not ideal. A witch's best friend is a pig, no doubt. Wow. Okay. Look, Ravens, Glynis. Artorius and Rune Mage down on one turn. It's kind of nasty if you think about it. Unfortunately, we have to watch out for this. I think uh, we'll just do that so that it saves us a lot of points, right? They haven't even procced for Sabbath yet. Okay, they have a second one in I hand. That's great. To stick my nose where it doesn't belong. It's a lot of effort to win on even. I think I'm just going to take the V from the Onero. Just, uh... Probably do it like this, honestly. Play around Tall Punish a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sheesh. I guess they play Tome. That's a bad idea for you. You know what I mean? Because we're, we're going to take that every day. We take uh, highest unit. <laughs> Do not make me beg. <laughs> you know, that does... Let's see. It might... Nah, definitely not. They're probably going to create one themselves, I guarantee you. No way. That sucks. So... Drop this here. I guess we just play Decree? <laughs> this is absurd. I've never in my life had a 25 point V in round one. Sixty one point slizzard. I feel like my job here is done. Yeah, look at it this way, okay? They have Six, seven, like so many engines on the board, and we actually get out of this round without sweating too hard, really. And then they could take a tall punish, whatever, but. Okay, truffle. Reality is bad. Leave it no 
That was a deep round one. So we'll put back uh, one. And I don't have any more specials in decks, so we'll just dump it. Lowest each. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. I don't think they understand. Please don't have a joust. Actually, I have an ale in hand. Doesn't even matter. I just want to make the tall punish less effective or slightly less effective. I would imagine that they have a Vilg and they might have a Yen. I just don't know. How many locks you got? There's two. Gotcha, gotcha, <laughs> okay. I want to take this now. Is for the record, I think the view is at what, 31? Changed the deck up just a tiny bit from the previous match. I just think that the recipe we have here is slightly better and probably the best that it's going to be. I just wanted to have one more consume at a removal reach and one last chance to get V if we miss. That's pretty much it. So. Banshee can go back. We have tons of consumes. This is probably going to be Harmony, right? Yeah. There's nothing I can do about it. That sucks. I'm going to wait for them to play Saskia before I take anything else. Like the Quacks. Might as well try and brick something good because we're not winning round one. Let's see if we can get out some poisons early. Obviously, they're still going to have heat wave, but 
both. So this is not your typical harmony deck. Maybe they went Fove into... They have that and they have Call, perhaps. That's a lot of thinning. This dance you will never forget. This feels kind of like an overcommitment for the round, but... They're getting really good carry over here, so... And... The frogs here are kind of... They're going to have to move those, yeah. We'll take our thin... Maybe... Maybe not. I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to tempo pass on me here. Wow. Okay. That's like, I think almost too much. So they have beasts out there. They have relics. They have dragons. Alf. Hopefully they're not getting much value anymore from Dana. Kind of feels like they're playing nervous. So V's at 13. Take this. Probably another one. Fun. kind of whack how I don't really have many tutors here. You gotta be careful for poisons as well. Two pigs, though, would be a lot of points. I think what I'll do is focus on getting them down as quick as possible. So we'll do the consume here to hit Sabbath. That's a lot of points. really hope they don't hit us with that heat wave or hit us with that poison or whatever the case. We could do a bunch of just consuming around to get rid of the poison, but here, let's let him go. Cat Witch on Adrenaline's nasty. That pretty much cancels this out. Once it hits, right? Got to be careful for Brayan as well. This is kind of kind of scary, man. I feel like it's Troll Porter because I don't want to give them Tome, but I'll feel really bad if I give them Tome. Like if they don't have Heat Wave, you know what I mean? There's just too many things. Maybe it has to be Tome. I gotta split these points up, don't I? Nah, 
It's all or nothing. I think they're just gonna basically double push and Bray and last say, honestly. Saved. We'll see. We'll see. Yes. <laughs> no way. Four. And then we get the four. So close. 75 points, Lizard, man. That's it? That's literally it. Okay. So we're sitting at about 60 points here in this round. More like 70, I guess. Humans are scum. I prefer L. Ward. Piss is wrong. The realm of the living severs your chain. Abandon now your mortal stain. It's kind of random. We gotta protect ourselves from Brian. Now Brian's impossible. Heat wave's not. But heat wave might not even be enough to win. I think it's enough, guys. Yeah. I feel like this is going to be a challenge, right? We have Imprisonment, which is probably the worst leader that we could play against, unless it were Cultists, which is not as bad, okay? So, we'll fix the hand up a little bit. I'm going to value Slizzard with Veil vale a lot. If I can pull that, then I'm feeling decent. Otherwise, Were Rat will have to carry here too, right? This just gets locked. We put it down. No thins, just wins. You know what I'm saying? There we go. And... Kinda sucks how <laughs> it's so tall already. Round one's not meant to be won. You can't lock Veil. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no. Just like that, the show begins. That's interesting. What is your best card? Renfri? Ooh, that's not really something you want to give them. That means they have Renfri in hand. Actually, no, it's Heat Wave. What am I saying?
Stay true to our way, we must always. Ah, my frills droop at the worst times. Really want to do too much, you know what I mean? Here, we'll draw it. I'm feeling good about the one leader charge and the lock. Or the, um, the heat wave. Right? I want to see if they let me have a chance. So let me have one more. If they lock Veil, vale, I think they're going to lock that. Points on row. Actually, enough for pick. Quick, move those moves. Be it's priority because they're getting two points per turn, so we got to match that. So the whole deck is contingent on this card working, literally. That was probably the worst quacks I've taken in history. Okay. Should I power that or just wait? I feel like it's more important to save this for something that's locked opposed to something that's bleeding. We don't care about card advantage, we keep pushing. But there is a consideration to actually pass here after this. Just because, uh, you know, at 16 is enough to defend a bleed. That's 8p, 10p. I guess these are five and these are five. So they're playing a decent amount of stuff. Fives here, ten, eight, five, five, yeah. Ten. I think that normally when people play against this deck, they have to choose, okay? Do I 2-0 and just hope that we don't draw well? Or do they just set up for a long round 3 if they have more engines, right? It's kind of a tough place to be here. Not a lot in the way of consumes. No, you don't. That's a random Trey Hearn. Yeah, nice try. So we'll take Hillock, we'll play the first one. I 
I guess we play dog secondly, and then if they lock it, we take Peller, and then we could just play from there, because we get uh, get the two consumes off that. I might have to go pull something like Slizzard and, instead of one of them, which is reasonable. Or maybe... Two gold cards. Can't float V, because then if they kill it, I'm in trouble. We'll take uh, Slizzard because it has a higher point ceiling. If they take a leader lock off it, it's not a huge deal. Of course you have this. Because why wouldn't you, right? Unbelievable. You know, for that reason, I'm going to have to take a risk here. And it sucks, but we're going to float it. You played Muzzle and Heat Wave. So Vilg would win them the game. Imagine Igni. Again, I do this every day. No. That's not how it works! That's not how it works. Right? I don't think if it's destroyed it goes back. Maybe maybe I'm tripping, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Ah that's crazy. Now I gotta test that. Cause destroy Oh wow, O'Neill with all that thinning? Nothing personal, I assure you. Surely they pass here. Or they just have tall punish, but I don't think they have a third one. Of course you do. <laughs> what? This is unheard of, man. I think we're just playing cards from hand at this point. God, I hate scums. I 
We should, we should be good. If they have a yen, we tie. Yeah, we're fine. Wait, that's gonna summon out the second one. <laughs> Damn, bro. 